So I want to introduce you to two or three people tonight, um, maybe four, maybe five, whose lives have changed as a result of a neurodegenerative disease and have changed their life for the, for the benefit of themselves and for mankind. So first up, the unstoppable Dr. Terry Walls. All right, we'll see if it's still working. So 10 years ago, I thought I knew what life had in store for me. I had a progressive MS, I could not stand. Uh, I'd struggled to walk 10 feet, I could not sit up, I had a tilt reclined wheelchair. Um, I was beginning to have a lot of problems with brain fog, I was losing my keys, my phone. Uh, I had replaced my phone three times, my smart keys three times. Um, I had intractable occipital neuralgia that was getting more and more difficult to control. I needed to take solumedrol. Uh, and pain clinic injections. I was now up to five days of solumedrol. And life was uh, very, very grim. That summer, I, uh, it, when I, and I'd been experimenting with supplements. I'd been following the uh, paleo diet that uh, had slowed my decline, um, but I was still declining. I then uh, discovered the Institute for Functional Medicine. I took that course on neuroprotection, which by the way is really tough when you have brain fog. Uh, and I had a longer list of supplements that I added. I also discovered uh, electrical stimulation of muscles, and I started doing that, which, by the way, hurts like hell. Um, but I had completely accepted that there was no recovery possible with progressive MS. And so I was going to do everything that I possibly could, which included uh, stimulating my uh, muscles with uh, current enough that I was sweating from pain, uh, while well, I was doing that, uh, an hour on and then an hour off, and an hour on, an hour off, uh, th through all of my waking time. Uh, and then I had this big aha moment where I uh, redesigned my diet with the supplements in mind to refocus my paleo diet, as you guys will hear about the magic nine. Uh, and then, to my surprise, I could sit up. And then, to my surprise, I could walk with a cane, and then I could walk without a cane, um, and, you know, one of the things that happens when you have progressive MS is you just take one day at a time. And so I was taking one day at a time. I'm walking around the block, still taking life one day at a time. And I decided to ride my bike. And I'm able to ride my... Uh, I can ride my bike around the block. I'm crying. My kids are crying. My wife is crying. And that's when hope came back into my life. Because it's like, clearly, my neurologist has no idea. Conventional medicine has no idea. And who knows what might be possible with uh, progressive MS. Maybe I really could recover. Uh, and of course, I would then go on to bike 20 miles uh, a few months later. Uh, and I continue to recover. And I change how I practice medicine. And then my chair of medicine calls me and says, you got to do a case report. So I salute and do the case report, and then he calls me back and says, now I want you to change the focus of your research, which had been studying uh, secondary data analysis and diagnostic error, and he said, I'll help you get some uh, clinical mentors. You're gonna start testing whether or not your protocol and help others with progressive MS. Uh, and so we got that going, and somehow I managed to get the funding, and I'll be showing you guys these amazing videos, uh, and so, that, you know, that, was, that all began 10 years ago when I thought I understood what my life was going to be. Uh, but as it turned out, that what tr was the most powerful gift I've ever been given. Because I had to get that disabled, uh, to be willing to relearn all that basic science and relearn everything and re-understand uh, what is possible and re-understand um, how to take care of people and reimagine my purpose in life. My purpose in life is to tell, tell people, if I can come back from being so disabled that I could not sit up, that it was a struggle to walk, that I was having brain fog, that I had intractable pain, to having a full and vigorous life where I'm not quite athletic, but you know, biking 20 miles is not bad, that they could come back too. Uh, and so we see this in our clinics with Parkinson's, with early cognitive decline, with progressive MS, that we can, in fact, come back from amazing uh, degrees of neurodegeneration, which I, 10 years ago, thought was only a one way down. Now I'm busy telling people that, yes, you can repair your brain.